is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back yet again with more wwe action figure news i mean my god didn't you expect it you freaking expected it right i told you that every other day you should probably expect some sort of news or leaks or lines or something coming out with sdcc's date coming up where the reveals were going to happen there's going to be things leaked out and things coming out of the you know just out of nowhere just coming out of nowhere rko style right in the face and i'm going to bring it to you guys but first off before we dive into those leaked new lines that we got coming out. We also have a new WWE Fan Central Takeover Series 2 figure. You guys know that we covered Series 1 already. We got Series 2 back now. We've already covered Christian and we covered X-Pac. We already covered those in videos. Now we're back with the next figure, and I think you guys are going to be really, really excited about this one. I think this is the best one to date, probably outside of Seth Rollins, in my own personal opinion. But up next, guys, we have Johnny Gargano, and you guys can see the options on your screen. You have a choice between the Iron Man gear, the more of like a current day. I'm pretty sure this is similar to his current day attire that he's kind of wearing week to week on NXT. And then you have the Wolverine gear, which is so sick. I think this is so sick. Hopefully, in uh, you know, we end up getting all three of them at some point. I know they've made other gears. I think they made his, uh, I, I, I can't even remember what the attire was, but they've done different basics of Johnny Gargano and his gear, or at least one basic. And now here we back are again with Fan Takeover Series 2, the third elite in the series. The last figure is probably going to be a women's figure, at least that's what I would guess. In the last series one, you guys know that Shayna Baszler was the woman in that set, so I'm sure we'll get a woman in this set. They're trying to update those women's figures with double jointed D, so it's, it's, it's a great idea to get these women in here as fast as possible. So right here we have Johnny Gargano. Now, to be honest with you, I have to go with the Iron Man gear. If I'm voting in this, I am definitely going Iron Man gear. He is my favorite Marvel character of all time. I'm going Iron Man. There's no doubt about it. The poll is going to go live right now. So as I'm recording this, it's like late at night and the, the live vote is not going on yet. There's not, you know, the vote is not live. You can't vote for it at this moment of recording. However, by the time this video is up and the time you're watching this right now, you can actually go vote. I'll put the link in the description. Go vote for it. I'm personally voting for Iron Man, but you guys can vote for whatever you want to vote for. You got the 2020 Gargano, and then you have the Wolverine Gargano. Now, I'm going to be real with you. I would be down for any three of them. To be honest, you know, Iron Man's my number one. Wolverine will be my number two. It's kind of funny that Wolverine is my my third favorite Marvel character of all time behind Punisher. So it goes Iron Man, Punisher, Wolverine. So that's kind of cool that, you know, they had that option. Thank God they didn't put the Punisher in the middle because I'd have a really difficult time picking, even though I'd probably end up going with Iron Man. It'd be really difficult to vote, but I think you can actually vote as many times as you want. So I'd probably submit a vote for all three just to be fair, but Iron Man's getting my vote. I'm definitely voting Iron Man. You guys let me know which one you want to vote for, but all three of these would be fantastic. It's going to have the ripped up torso. Hopefully we don't get the same kick pad mold that we keep getting with them. If they do that, I'll have to fix it up on surgery or something, which isn't the biggest deal, but I would like for the figure to come normal and they would fix that problem, but we'll just have to cross that bridge when we come to it. But there it is. It's going to be a new Johnny Gargano fan takeover series 2. Super excited for it. I cannot wait. I've actually seen a custom by Mac Decals. I've even sold one on our eBay page of the Wolverine gear. And he's out, he's also made the Iron Man gear, which both of them look absolutely fantastic. That's sort of like a little window into what we could get out of Mattel. And I think that he nailed those figures and these would be just as good. But not only do we have Fan Central Takeover or Fan Takeover Series 2 figure in Johnny Gargano, we also have some leaked lineups here. Pulling it up on your screen. You guys know that the other day I did mention some new figures coming out. You know, we talked about the Street Profits and Bianca Belair and all this stuff. Well, adding to that list, we also have The Rock was added to that list. Shinsuke Nakamura was added to that list. A new Elite Finn Balor was added to that list. A new Triple H was added to that list. And on top of that, we also are getting a new Roman Reigns Elite on top of a Kofi Kingston Elite. So we got a lot of new Elites coming out here, and it's going to be interesting to see what those look like, what attires we get out of those guys. But The Rock, Shinsuke Nakamura, Triple H, Finn Balor, and uh, do not forget Kofi Kingston and Roman Reigns. So all those guys are going to be new to the list. I can't wait for those. But that is not what the that's not all the new figures we have coming out, guys. We also have these lists right here. And getting into these lists as we pull them up, you guys can see there we have WWE Basic Ricochet, WWE Basic Rhea Ripley, Basic Becky Lynch, Basic Humberto Carrillo, WWE TP Action John Cena, WWE TP Action Roman Reigns. Now, if you guys are wondering what the hell that is, that is actually top picks so that is going to be a new top picks John Cena basic and a new top picks Roman Reigns basic now we don't know what those are going to look like I don't think just yet but uh it's safe to say that you guys know that they always put the popular guys in those top pick lines so 
Roman Reigns and John Cena will be right there. Underneath that, you can see there it says it says Battle Packs Roman Reigns Balor, Battle Pack Sasha Banks Alexa Bliss, Battle Pack Rock Triple H, and then at the very bottom you can see it says WWE Reckon Feature Playset. Now I don't know what the hell that could be. I'm trying to think of my mind Roman Reigns and Finn Balor. The last time they crossed paths was what? Like when the hell did they cross paths? Is that going to be the Universal Championship match where Roman won the title and then the first thing he did that Monday Night Raw after was uh, he challenged Finn Balor who never got his rematch and then Brock Lesnar came out and ended up was it Braun Strowman or Brock Lesnar one of those guys came out and it ended up costing Finn the match because he was distracted right there so that is what I'm going to guess is going to be that battle pack possibly Sasha Banks and Alexa Bliss they've crossed paths a lot and then Rock and Triple H same thing so it's probably going to be like a then now forever maybe I, I don't know I, I don't know what that's going to be uh, it's kind of like all over the place just three random battle packs thrown in there but that'll be very interesting to see what those are but our first time in the line right here. You got a basic Rhea Ripley and a basic Humberto Carrillo. Now uh, the head sculpt for Carrillo is going to be the biggest thing and for Rhea Ripley because you guys know as well as I do the basic figures are hard to pose around but I guess for predictions videos it's not like I'm going to be putting them in the pick fed anytime soon I don't think so those guys really won't matter to me as far as basic. Well Rhea Ripley could end up in the pick fed so we'll just see about that but her elite's coming out soon so that'll be something too. I think we're getting her elite by the end of the year so I'd probably just wait on that if I'm going to put her in the pick fed but but not only that, guys, at the bottom, it says Wrecking Feature Playset. Now, I don't know what the hell that could be. I don't know if that's talking about the Slambulance. I would figure that it would say something about Ambulance or Slambulance or something like that. It does not say that. It just says Wrecking Feature Playset. So, I don't know if that's a brand new thing. Maybe we'll see at San Diego Comic-Con or the reveals that we're going to be getting. Maybe they'll reveal that and show that to us and we'll see exactly what they're talking about with that. But I guess we'll just have to cross, uh, you know, cross that bridge when we come to it. But uh, you guys can see all those figures. But that's not all. We also have some more figures coming coming up on the next slide more even more figures here we have wwe basic fiend wwe adam cole action pack is what it looks like it says you have wwe basic braun Strowman, basic biggie basic tegan knox wwe top picks the rock wwe top picks braun Strowman, wwe battle pack undertaker jeff hardy battle pack cena orton and battle pack bailey and charlotte so this is really interesting to me so we're gonna get a basic fiend figure so i guess you missed out on the elite you want to you know a basic figure of the fiend I'm really interested to see how that goes. It'll probably be a pretty much just straight up copy of the Elite, but in basic form, maybe. Yeah, I'm sure it'll have the blonde hair, a little touch up that, uh, you know, the Elite ended up having on the second run of it. Or it could end up being a different hair mold. Maybe they'll give us a new basic, you know, Fiend figure with a different uh, head sculpt with different hair, like the hair grew, you know, grown out a little bit or maybe pulled back. I'm not exactly sure. We'll just have to see about that. The Adam Cole action pack. Now, I don't know what the hell that is. Maybe it's like a little fan pack. You guys remember the fan packs with AJ Styles. It came with gloves. Jeff Hardy, it came with the sleeves. Rey Mysterio came with like a little mask, I think. So that is uh, something that it could be. Maybe it comes with an Adam Cole basic and then an Undisputed Era armband is what I would probably guess. That'd be a really cool. Maybe the dog tags are included in that as well. That could be something that that probably represents. That'd be my best guess. Now, basic Braun Strowman, not too into it. Basic Big E, not too big into it. But first time in the line, WWE Basic Tegan Knox, Really big right there. Another NXT style women's figure that we can put into our rosters. Again, the same thing we said with Mia Yim moving forward. Very excited to get her added into our NXT rosters and added to our women's female collection there for our WWE action figure. So basic Tegan Knox will be really exciting to add. Top picks The Rock and top picks Braun Strowman. Pretty skippable. You know how many different Rock figures and basics we have? And then the Braun Strowman as well. It's like, eh. And then you have, this is really interesting to me, Battle Pack Undertaker Jeff Hardy. Now, if I had to guess, this is going to be their ladder match from Monday Night Raw way back when in 2002. And that is what I'm guessing here. So I'm guessing it's going to be a throwback Jeff Hardy. Hopefully they give us a brand new head sculpt with a headband and stuff like that. And then we'll get a, you know, American Badass Undertaker to go with this. And it'll probably come with like a basic version of the WWE Championship. Or it, it could end up coming with a ladder. That'd be really cool too to see a ladder in a battle pack with Undertaker and Jeff Hardy. And then we have Cena Orton. It'll probably be from like uh, 2009 is what I would guess from their I Quit match. Maybe it comes with handcuffs is what I would guess. If you're, if you're looking at that match, probably a bald head, Randy Orton, possibly a new head sculpt. And then it'll be John Cena in the John Deere style green armbands. And then Bailey Charlotte. I mean, my God, they've they've squared off so many times in the past. Who knows what that'll be, but it'll probably be another throwback style. Bailey and Charlotte right there. So there you go. There's three more battle packs. I'm actually really interested to see what these battle packs look like. So hopefully 
come Comic-Con or reveal season. I, I don't know. What, what do I need to dub it? Do I need to dub it San Diego Comic-Con still, or should I get it? Like, I need to call it something else. When we get the reveals or reveal season what, is what I need to call it. But there it is. That is all the stuff I have for you guys. So down below in the link in the description, guys, go vote on your Johnny Gargano. What do you want? Iron Man, current day Johnny Gargano, or Wolverine attire? Again, I'm voting Iron Man. I am voting Iron Man all the way. And then we have... Uh, I'm actually interested to see who votes what. You guys know that we always talk about how the WWE posts that up on their regular Twitter and then all the non-wrestling figure fans vote on this. I wonder what they're going to pick. I would highly... I, I would I would be shocked if they didn't pick Iron Man because, you know, it's very big and it's popular in pop culture and stuff. So they're probably going to pick the Iron Man one, but we'll just have to see about that. I'm also interested to see how, you know, Mattel can get away with putting on that Iron Man likeness onto the figure think that's very interesting as well. I'd love to know what goes into that. Is there any royalty fees or anything like that involved? I would don't I don't think so, but with them leaving off Seth Rollins X on the vest, I don't know. So I mean I'm I i do not know man. I don't know what goes into that, but also, don't forget, we have Humberto Carrillo. We went over those battle packs, the new playset coming out also. And then you have all the new battle packs and basics with Tegan Knox, The Fiend, and uh, the Adam Cole action pack. But I do believe that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Tons of news still coming out. If they post any more stuff up, I will definitely let you guys know about it. But definitely get in on there on the Johnny Gargano boat. What do you guys think about all these new releases coming out very soon? What do you hope to see at San Diego Comic-Con? I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys. Vote on your Johnny Gargano Elite Fan Takeover Series 2 and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.